News 6's Eric Von Aiken is live at SeaWorld. And Eric, what is SeaWorld saying about this? Julie, SeaWorld says that Katina the killer whale was injured here at SeaWorld about two weeks ago while interacting, some sort of interaction with the other orcas here at SeaWorld. We've got some more pics for you. They, they actually come to us from the website Ocean Advocate News. You can see the dorsal fin is torn to the base, but no further, SeaWorld says. They tell us they're treating her with cold laser therapy to help it heal and medical honey, actually an age-old treatment, which is known to prevent infection in animals. SeaWorld says orcas are excellent healers. They expect this wound to heal completely. SeaWorld doesn't know exactly how it happened, though. They admit they say it could have been an aggressive interaction with the other orcas, which they claim actually is normal. PETA, though, that's people for the ethical treatment of animals, does not agree. They are not happy about this yet again. They tell me that Katina, quote, suffered immensely when a large chunk of her dorsal fin was ripped out. While aggression is rarely seen among families, Family units in the wild. Traumatic wounds such as Katina's are an all too common consequence when complex wild animals are forced to live in unnatural, incompatible groups inside small tanks. End of quote. Again, that was PETA's take on this. SeaWorld says, though, Katina's getting the best care possible, and they insist, Julie, care that Katina would never be getting out in the wild. More on her prognosis when I see again coming up this afternoon at 5 30 and 7. All right, Eric, thank you. We'll see you then. Eric Von Aiken, live at SeaWorld.